Back now on a Saturday morning with hundreds of pets who are left homeless after Hurricane Irma and their chance at a new home thanks to some dedicated NBA players. Members of the Miami Heat who know all about Hurricane Irma's fury were out in force on Friday, lending a helping hand and getting the pets to safety. Here's NBC's Morgan Radford. These are some of Hurricane Irma's most vulnerable victims. 331 pets orphaned by the storm, abandoned or left to die. The intake is more than usual and the problem that we have is that since we're closed due to the storm, people aren't coming in to adopt animals. But luckily, big help is on the way. Members of the Miami Heat basketball team rush to the airport to feed, hydrate and pack the animals into crates before loading them onto a plane to evacuate them to safety. Why did you come out to do this today? I mean, first I'm an animal lover. Um, I love animals. I have three dogs of my own. Secondly, obviously being from Miami, an opportunity to come back and rebuild and then just helping out with everything that's going on with the hurricane. But the plane taking these pups to their new home isn't just any plane. It's a cargo aircraft from California that had just dropped off relief supplies for hurricane victims. And one that shipping giant FedEx decided shouldn't return unused. Right, Bo. <laughs> he said he wants to go home with me. So with 150 animals on board, Miami's hottest team sends them off with love. Flying them from the Sunshine State to a golden one to be welcomed by a team of warriors. We need more puppies. They enjoyed the ride. We kept it nice and cool for them. They each had their own little blankets. <laughs> Might have put the shirt on backwards, but it's okay. Uh, hopefully they're going to be in good hands. <laughs> Who hope to give them a happy home. For today, Morgan Radford, NBC News, Miami. How about that? That's, uh, that's a part of the story that has, has not necessarily received as much coverage as other parts for understandable reasons. Right, but that's think still a good about, point. Think about all the pets. Yeah. All the pets down in Florida and Texas as well before that, down in the islands. And that's on top of what are already overburdened shelters. That's a good point. So the time is now, you know, if you feel that you can offer a pet a responsible uh, home, so yeah. we've, we've done it twice and there is nothing like mm. adopting a, a puppy or even an older dog. They are remarkable additions.